Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners August 7th, 2019 meeting. It is 6.30 p.m. and we will open up and start. And the first thing on your agenda is the acceptance of the minutes from June 5th, 2019, June 13th, 2019, and July 10th, 2019. And we have enough people here to vote on those, so if everyone would kindly take a quick review. Make a motion to accept June 5th. Second. Okay, we have a motion for the June 5th meeting and we've had a second. Any discussion? No seeing, no discussion. All those in favor of accepting the June 5th? Vote in the usual manner. Aye. 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 Unanimous for that. Jen? Okay. June 13th meeting. Short one. I'll make a motion. To uh, accept the June 13th minutes as presented. Second. Okay, the June 13th have been voted on, they've been seconded. All those in favor? Any other discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor on the June 13th? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous on June 13th, and we jump to July 10th, quite a bit here. make a motion that we accept the uh, July 10th, 2019 minutes as presented. Okay, we have a motion to accept that we have a second on July 10th. Second. It's been seconded. Any other discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous on the uh, meeting, so that's good, we cleaned that up. Okay, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Did yes. we ever do a the organization after the election? I, uh, I brought it up. It has to be done next month. It, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, by the time we brought it up, uh, you've already the done the legal process with the uh, posting that has to, so that'll be on next month so we can okay. take care of that. 14 Lakeview Ave, Conrad Allen, connect to water and sewer. I don't see him here. So we'll bypass that for now. And we'll jump over to item four. 8 Juniper Lane, Darius Zagelin, permit yes. to connect to water sewer has expired. In your packet, there's a paper from last year. So I want to put like a speed level house, raise wrench. Uh-huh. Okay. I like to connect the sewer and water. The sewer and water is already on the lot. The top, the water top is on a lot and sewer. Okay, so when that neighborhood was built, they brought the yes, water. Yes, everything gets on the lot, yeah. Right to the lot. Yeah, behind, behind the curb, yeah. We don't have to go to the street anymore. Oh, so he's already got a tap. Yep. It's on your property. Yes. Yeah. And the same thing the sewer line. So permit uh, fees, tie in fees, still uh, connection fees and uh, water and water meter. Yeah, yeah still yeah. play a role. Yeah. So uh, in other words, in a year that's gone by, obviously you didn't build the house. Or do anything, but now you're looking to yeah. get the show on the road. I get a foundation in the mm -hmm. Well, what's the what's the uh, outlook of the board? Okay, well, came in to pull the permits. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you're planning on moving forward with the yes, building? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Once you get all your permits. Yes. <coughs> okay. I'll I'll make a motion to extend it. Um, I'll with all. Uh, all um, pertinent fees. Okay, we have a motion to extend for one year, I suppose, from today's date. Can we extend it or just redoing uh, it? Extending one. Uh, if it ran out, then we can't extend it. Yeah, you we can't extend, extend it beyond the ex expiration yeah. date. To issue a new, uh, oh, issue, all right. yeah. issue a new permit to okay. uh, <coughs> July uh, 7th, 2019. Is that how you want to it? Sure. I'll second that. Any other discussion on that? All those in favor of uh, a new permit till July 7th, 2019 for Mr. Zeglin for 8 Juniper Lane, Lot 60 Water, Lot 61, Water Suit Tie-In. The, uh, Mr. Chairman, the fees are going to be paid up front now? Yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to see uh, if you have, you'll have yeah. to pay the fees to, to the office. Water and sewer. It's your responsibility. Okay. 
So it's been motioned. Has it been seconded? Yeah. Second. It's been seconded. Any other discussion then? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. aye. Unanimous. So you can see, George, uh, yeah. uh, then Darius, and take care of your responsibility. And, and uh, don't do any digging without George be, and the guys being yeah. around so they know what's going on so All they right. can see. Very good. Okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're all nice. One sixty seven West Main Street, Les Stevens. You do have a drawing in your packet of uh yep. those lots up on parcel ID number one twenty dash four. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's it's parcel number uh one twenty dash four. I think it's one sixty nine. I was gonna say this sheet says one sixty nine. So yeah, dude, it's just a miscue. Okay. We just wanna make sure we got it correct. Yeah. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. I have one sixty seven West Main Street. Which sheet says one sixty nine? The yeah, cover sheet, the cover sheet says 169, but I think yeah. this this yeah, looks like it's 167. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's got the parcel it's number the, on it. It's the house they tore down in West Main. No. The lot to the right of it. The right, it yeah. is 169. So it is one. Uh, it is one paper lot. Yeah. What do you got, George? It is buildable. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's a, I, I don't know how long that lot's been in existence. It must have been in existence way back when 167 was there. Was it Correct. Next door? Pro prior to that's uh, that land where. Uh, remember that big multi family yellow yeah. that yeah. got yep. knocked down? Wesley owns it. Up near oh, the hot tub. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. right off the Valgo's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and about yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, 153 is Valgo's place. So yeah. we're actually, even though we say 167, oh, 163. We're looking at 120 4, number 169. Correct. Yep. Correct. Okay. And that meets, well, not that it matters to us, but it, it, all the building codes and all that kind of stuff and up frontage and all that. Um, it, it, it's, it's um, you know, should be grandfathered in. We're going to meet with the ZBA board, but uh, we want to meet before your board to discuss the tie-ins. Um, it, it's a lot that pre-existed, probably, you know, zoning before that was adopted. So now that may not have been tied into water when that new main was put in. I got to double check the books on that. Correct, and we're looking to work with with you on okay. on the tie-ins with the water and sewer, uh, since it is located in the street, um, and, and the abutting properties do have water and sewer tied to them. What size house? There um, was two houses over there at one time, though. I just remember the mansion. There was that big oh, there yellow was multi small family, house. and then I yeah. think there was something yeah. off in the back. Yeah, yeah. to the right. left. At the big point. house was here, and the small one to the right. left. Yeah. On the same one. Garage. It was a garage. Yeah. yeah. There so was it, a house though. Yeah. The big house and then a garage. No, there it was, was a, there was another house in between, one fifty three. There was the big house and there was a house next to it, a rental. <coughs> when I was a kid, I used to hang around with the guy that lived there. That's what. Claybus. Claybus. Trolls. Trolls had a house there. Claybus. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, out of curiosity, yep. you are asking for, for what? Water and sewer connections. No, for for, for for what? For a single family house. Just a single family house. In other words, not being rude or wise. Mm -hmm. Not a car wash. Not no. a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I just I, I, no. I, it's, it's for residents. Yeah. For residents. Yeah. For a single family. Yeah, home. and should that change, we come be, come back before you. Should that change? So, so that's a single family. Single family, about um, seventeen hundred total square feet. Um, it's basically a split entry. Same thing as. Um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Two bath. Eslin. Yep. Two bath. Correct. Home. Yep. Pretty simple. Um, uh, sewer is out in the middle of the road, Judge. Mm -hmm. yep. Water's in the gutter on this side, you know, yep. in, in favor of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Wouldn't it still have a sewer There might be a line there, no? Yeah. From the other we, house. I have to find out because when they did those lines, we're not sure about 169. That's so far back. Um, it, when they yeah. put the new main in, I got to see if there was a curb stop put in there. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. This 167 had for water, yeah. but would sewer have had a stub? Sewer, sewer, to that yeah, house. sewer would probably be a stub. I've checked with Mike on that. If he yeah. has records of a stub there, for mm -hmm. uh, it would have been capped yeah, off if the house was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay, at the, the end, there was four. Was the the so. water yeah. being in the gutter is a little more yeah. simple than the, on the when the new main was put in there. They might have bypassed that lot if it wasn't exist. They just went because I have a book on it. And I can double check, but I know 167 was taken care of because of the house. But mm -hmm. they right. might have missed it on the other one, so I have to <coughs> check that. Yeah. The, the bottom line is the lap, sewer lateral going to 167. Mm -hmm. That belongs to 167. We don't want a right. conflict of interest with the land and a yeah, title. Yeah, you don't want to tie them together. Tie them together. Right. No, off of his It'd be a separate line. Separate line It's got frontage on the street. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I mean, and that's part of the best part of the What we're saying is if, if that was looked at as an existing lot, they may have stubbed it. Yeah. Cool. But I don't know if that was looked at. It, uh, don't forget, that sewer line was put in in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. 
God knows what was there. Yeah. 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 Well, this was sometimes they yeah, do, this, sometimes they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. These laws were probably created prior to that. House, I know had sewer in the sixties. In any case, yeah. Either way, contract to put in the sewer and let it. Well, it, what, in yeah, any we'll, case, we have to pass it. We'll work, work with you. It'd be it. easier for you to have it because you're going to do what two jobs. One season it is to uh, two jobs. Depending on the flow, to put the camera down, a have a contract to put a camera down the up, uphill side manhole and yeah. see if you can find a lateral yeah. to that uh, 167. Yeah, that's that's you know definitely working with George to see if there's already a lateral there and it makes make life easier. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And if not, you know what what's needed to be done to, for the tie-ins. It's pretty straightforward. But we have capacity in that area. Yes. Yep. Now this this permit that you're asking for is in your name. Uh, right now, um, the the owner is uh, Harvard Health Systems Real Estate. Oh, of one sixty nine. <coughs> Correct. And they're building a house, or you're building a house. Um, right now, you know, they're interested in getting it approved, and and go from there. So this is going to be a single family home. It's Correct. not going to be a Correct. business or a Correct. Okay. Yeah. Again, should should anything ever change for you know for the purpose, I'd come back before you guys. I understand the flow and everything else would change if it. That's where all the thick pine trees are. The change yeah, in design. That was cut out. The one. They've held. They've owned that land for years. Yep. I mean, Correct. forty years ago, they were looking to put a clinic in there. Now that I think about it, they actually did some work on the property back then. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Um, we have need, uh, state hmm? permission for the road. Yeah, okay. let's. Yeah. That'll all be uh, right permission. now. You're just looking for permission for the permission. water. Yeah, yes. I mean it, it's there. Uh, what do we have to do for? Um, We're going to determine first if there is a water mm -hmm. um, shutoff in that area. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have to check the book on it, and we'll do. Are there any fees or anything involved? Still be a connection fee, yeah. or they have to go install it. I mean, at this me. point, to give us for us to give approval or tentative approval. Yeah, well, it would either be a connection fee for an existing line there, or he'd have to put a line in to the main, which is right at the curb line anyway. Mm -hmm. I just got to double check because that new main was put in. We have a book on it. Mm -hmm. See if they yep. did tag just 167 and that, mm -hmm. or just 167. I don't know what. I the think that's more the logistics, though. Okay, yeah, yeah that's we just need to approve whether or not we yeah. have yeah. the so capacity. We, we have capacity for water. We have capacity for sewage. We're going to charge the fees. Yes. So yep. I'm just wondering about the yeah, fees. As long as he agrees for all existing tie in fees or connection fees, whatever, that's fine. Correct. That's all you okay. Yeah. yeah, fees apply. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, right. uh, we're looking to, for anything to be waived. <laughs> I mean, if it's, you know, if we find out that it's stubbed out, it's gonna pass then it's it already there. Yeah. You know what I mean? If it's not stubbed out, then, you know, but, you know, we'll work with George and his department. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'll make a motion that we approve uh, <coughs> water sewer hookup uh, for lot 169 uh, West Main Street. Um, yeah. Okay, we have a motion to approve water and sewer for lot 169. Any other further discussion? Second. Second. second yeah. <laughs> it's been seconded. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. And like you say, West Seal. You have, you'll, if you need a letter, we can get you a letter that we met, mm -hmm. and you have permission and. Mm -hmm. We'll put on it that all fees apply. There'd be a sewer yeah. tie in, sewer and water tie in. Thank like you. See if we have any information on that from the sewer side, and then I'll check the water side yeah. and see what's going on with that. I know. Yeah. At least we have an idea. Yeah, yeah Jen's got my so email address, and we could follow up from there. And, and just that. like the person previous to you, uh, yes, the permissions are uh, are good for a year. One year? Okay. Perfect. Sounds so, good. All right. If it, if it gets close to that, if it gets close to that, Yep. Let us know and appreciate. We can extend them, but uh, okay. Excellent. See, as you already know, you can't extend an expired permit, so yeah. Just make no, sure you can understand before the expiration. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, time. Appreciate it. <coughs> yeah, thank, you. thank you. Okay, that's number five. Number six. Vote to vote to authorize of signing of weekly timesheets. So something's happened there in the last <coughs> period of time. What's happened? He wants more uniformity with a single signature instead of people chasing, trying to get signature. But he's been, the town administrator has been doing it right now until it's been sufficiently voted by the board who they want to authorize as a signature for, for the t weekly uh, payroll. For, um, yeah, I've been, since I saw that this was on there, um, the, um, I've been thinking about that. It, it, it makes sense. I mean, this, the superintendent knows who's working when. Um, we have time clocks and time cards for um, 
actual documentation of, of hours, it doesn't make sense to hold up a payroll sheet for chasing one of us for, for one of us or two of us or three of us to sign it. Uh, he recommended the department head do it. The department head, yes. On the next one that you're going to come to, I would recommend one of the board members to look at do that one for vouchers so they can get a look at what. Uh, so yeah, that, that's like a that. that's a different issue. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> that's a much different issue. Um, uh, but. I see no problem with it. Uh, and and, and to, uh, thinking about it, it makes sense that the, the department head uh, superintendent takes care of that. He's job he's responsibility. Over, he's he's over, so overseeing the, yeah, the person. Yeah, he's signing his own. He can't do that. Well, he's signing his own, yeah. So I think just the chairman or the, the vice chair. But we're not always available for 7 a.m. Monday morning. Well, he has it in here for the town administrator to sign off. You can. I think that's what he said. The gist of this, the town administrator wants to do this, right? Well, he said if you can't designate, right. like we could designate George to do it. Well, they like, can always like look at mine too and question if there's anything. Like Mr. Flynn, you said he can't sign his own payroll, so. Well, that position would be a salary position basically anyway, so it really wouldn't be applied much there. It's it's pretty standard. Maybe down the road, but right now it's not. Well, I mean, right now, but I mean, yeah. somebody can review it any time they want and look at whatever they want, come in uh, and ask I mean, and get a copy of um, it. I don't have a problem with it. I would think that George should sign off on everyone underneath, under, or the, the superintendent, whatever you want to, however you want to word that, but the department head should sign off on all the employees, employees. because he right. he's the one that knows if they're showing up to work or not, or, you I know. I can sign up. I don't know if they're. You know, right, so he should sign off, but then I would say have the town of sign, sign off as the, the official. Final. Right, yeah. yeah, that's all right. That's fine with me. He's the final. Just for the payroll. Right. Yeah. Correct. All right, so do we need to uh, make a motion on that that we've accepted and we recognize item six? Right. It yes. has to be a motion as to what you want to right. do, just so it's on so record. We, we, We've kind of discussed it then, so I think the discussion is George can sign off on the employees and the town administrator will review it the second time as far as George is signed from the side. If one of us isn't available. Yeah, unless Wait, for some reason. Is a salary position? Well, I think that, does that also give a, it also gives a okay. commissioner a chance to sign it also. I, think, I don't think that's what he's looking for. I think he's, he's trying, looking for, he's, he's looking he to have it to yeah, for the same. One, two. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the position right now, as it is, he can double check yeah. Yeah. Right. Who, but who, when it comes salary I don't think he needs to who do that signs the other department heads like who the signs department heads do who signs Vinny's payroll Vinny Vinny signs it whether or not he gets double checked by the administrator I don't know but I was Vinny, gonna say Vinny I know the highway department was signing it yeah home. but Vinny I don't know as far as what's Vinny if any salary straight salary what he is I think he's straight salary well, he's so it's interim, not he's an interim just like yeah he but I think he's straight salary oh. so I think that's why it's allowed but if this position comes salary it's that way there, it's a given. Right, like but he's not in the union. No, he's not in the union. Does the Board of Selectmen sign these two also? Do they look at anything? Uh, no. No, no, no. Time, Time to control. 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 That's it. Yeah. And, and payroll, payroll makes sense that the full-time personnel Department take care head. of that. Right. Um, Well, the general discussion is we're all in favor of, as we so I'd make a motion bring it forward to then bring it up. It. I would okay. rather see one of us sign it if possible. Right. You know, oh, well, all right. Only because right. we're no, an entity. Right. Only because we're an entity. You know, we're okay. I don't want. No, you want to leave the door open. I understand that logic. Yeah. Yep. If. All right. So now I don't, I don't know what right, to make, say. I make a motion <laughs> that one signature is required. Only required. <coughs> by any one of our board members if not available George will sign it and then then be signed by the town administrator yeah it, it gives us the right to review it yeah as a commissioner yes yeah you don't I want to keep it open you lose a little bit of power with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right yeah. so that's gonna have to be worded properly I could probably catch you in the morning mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. in, you call me in the morning the Bother bathroom plan. Yeah. All you gotta do is text me, and yep. if, you know if you're not available, yeah, yeah. you shoot me a text. Because I'm usually out at mm -hmm. a quarter of it. Well, what time do you normally have the payroll done by? Uh, it depends what time they get it to me. I would say usually by eight thirty. 
there's like a half an hour gap there to get it to Debbie after get it all signed up and get yeah. it to her. So. Because usually I just uh, the past couple ones have been usually by like eight o'clock I've gotten water and then sewer and then just giving me depending in between getting that. So usually by eight thirty it's taken care of. So we should just reserve the right that a commissioner has the privilege yes. to sign payroll. That's all I ask. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then one signature is, I mean, uh, so I think we have to make a vote on it then, so it's uh, okay. legal <coughs> document. So, uh, just to okay. what you had said yep. was that you made a motion that any board member can sign the payroll. If not available, then George will sign it, and then it would be turned into the town administrator for his executive. Well, signature. we won't use the word George, we'll use the oh, superintendent slash department, right. yeah. department, department head. Yeah. I think yeah. that's department the department head. Department head. Department head. Okay. And then it will be turned in to the town administrator for his signature. Yeah, for signature right. and review. So just to clarify, what's the current policy? Two commissioners? Two commissioners. Two. Okay. Two. Yeah. yeah. And that usually, um, there are often times you open up a folder, the folder yeah. has, there's two of them in there. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, one of them is obviously already a week old. The reason why he wants one on the next one too is just because sometimes we can't catch both in time and it makes it well that's it i came in i came in over the weekend and i saw them both there yeah with only one signature and i wasn't sure what how it worked yet if it was one signature or two yeah, signatures just see him sign them and then <laughs> yeah um all right who's gonna do it okay that should be worded <laughs> yep in that okay. manner well uh so the mo i'll second the motion if it hasn't already been seconded well, all we had, all we, re all we really haven't made we, the motion. Made the yeah, motion. Yeah. Oh, right. We just I, I, I made the motion. Well, I made the motion, and she, she okay. copied it. So you want to stick with that? We think we're 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 correct with uh, uh, one. The, the department head will sign. Right. How about if she reads that back, and then we'll make a motion on accepting so that she's good. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? That any board member can come in to sign the payroll. If they are not available, then the department head will sign. Then the payroll will be turned into the town administrator for review. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Yep. Okay, we'll vote do on. we do we want to have George sign off prior to commissioner? I'm just saying because none of us see day to day who's here, who's it, it, it ultimately it's, you know what it's I mean? gonna be falling on his responsibility unless unless it's uh hey, I'm going yeah, down the office at eight o'clock Monday morning to hang out. You know, we're just reserving all right. the fact that you know we could do it. Yeah, that's all. The right to do. Are you it. saying have him sign it after we sign it? Before we sign oh. it. Just well, so that he's approving, saying yes. This is this is these employees were all here and yeah, you know. Well, I think that that verbiage was just so don't we don't lose the authority. That's all. As, right. as commissioners. Yes. I mean, right. mo most likely it's it's going to be done and. We're not even going to be around, right? We'll be at work. What 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 happens? Um, the time the time cards get turned in. Do you review those before they get turned in? Yeah, we look at the time cards. The vouchers are made up for the time, uh, uh, whatever. Okay, so you you look at those yeah. already, anyways. Yeah. Do you yeah. initially? If I have any problems them? with them, and I question. You, you, um, you get any questions? You ask the ask the person. Okay, and that's that's a normal thing that any supervisor should be doing. Because um, we need to look at the view of the time cards to incorporate them into the vouchers for right. to be paid. So, yeah, you're already doing yeah, it. Because you can't really, we mark down certain vacations or whatever, we mark it down on the card so we know when we go through the final thing. Those hours. What those, you know, so yeah. whatever happens, um, all right. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, then I guess we could just make a motion to uh, read the paragraph as Jen has uh, yeah. read yeah. verbally to us. Uh, as yeah. I make of that a motion. Okay. Okay. So okay. Second that. We, we have a motion, and it's been seconded to uh, accept the paragraph that Jen read to us. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. So that'll take care of the uh, payroll situation. So the next item, number seven, vote to allow only one signature required for the signing of vouchers, and those vouchers are the bills that we owe. Why one? He wants to streamline that like the other ones. Instead of getting two signatures, what he wants just one, and it can be a department head, which I would recommend whether one of you designate, probably either Jay or, or, or Fred, just to someone someone from you to look at what we right. spend 
you know, because we're by you know, we, we, we know, but so you guys are aware of what's going I, I on. I mean, on that subject, we all should be aware exactly of what's being. I mean, boy, we spend money, we buy yeah. stuff on the water exactly. and sewer. We, I we, don't, everyone I don't should agree with have one. time to come to the town I, hall and see. I that didn't stuff. like going down from three to two, yeah, um, yeah. going down from two to one. I just don't like it. Now, the simple, and I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you the example, the easy example. Uh, we had a bill for um, uh, uh, one of our billing cycles that went through. Um, that there, someone just had determined they wanted to sub that out, to contract that out. I didn't Stuffing agree with the it. envelope. I didn't agree. I didn't agree with paying. You know, with us paying for that because we're already paying through, through okay. retained earnings. With one person signing those vouchers are never going to be seen by anybody else. Uh, um, we could make the vultures available when they're ready at the, at the, but if at they're the already, office, you guys but can they're already, If they're already signed and sent forward. No, no, no. We can have, they're just requiring one signature, but you guys, if you want to view this beforehand, it really need just one signature to let it go, but everybody can view it and, and, you know, but they just want one signature. They don't need two or three. They just need one. That's all they're looking for. I, I think agree. it should stay with two, and that'll be my yeah. position. Like I said, I didn't like going down from three to two. I, uh, I seriously think you're correct there, too, and it's our responsibility as elected officials right. to stop in the office and see where that money's going. Right. I mean, we, we've got our standard electric, chemical, wastewater, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But sometimes, I mean, you, you pick up a bill and you say to yourself, what, what the is heck this? is this? Uh, where did this come from? There's been more than a few times I've taken this. Yeah. I'll come in yeah. at night yeah. or on the yeah. weekends and... I just stick a sticky note on it. What's this all about? Like Friday, well, please for, hold for the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Please hold for the Friday meeting. Like if that's the case, we'll just I have to I, what I do is as make a motion in. I make up the vote to the stick with two. Okay. I don't think right. anyone so agrees I, to one. So that no, no, I, I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> I'm with two. I'm with two. All right. So, so if if people come in during the course before the vouchers are sent off on Monday, once I get the two signatures. I'll send it yeah, out. whoever yeah. comes in and, and if there's two signatures there already, then nobody has to sign. If there's one, yeah, if George sign. has to grab them and get in the oh. truck and make the rounds some days, I've done it know, before. I've had to make before. rounds to very spots. Yeah. And you know, I know I reached out to you, you when you came just right text down. Me and I'll take Is there a big problem yeah. with the bills yeah. not getting paid? It's not that the bills aren't getting paid, and it's it's more the so of we get the bill in here. And then it's the time frame it takes. Time frame. And it's what? just the whole process, the process. is lengthy. It's not just it's Trying not just to get here. A more money in a more timely manner. Right. And if they're sitting waiting for a signature for I five, would, six, <clears throat> eight, when nine he, days, then what's the yeah. time frame to work with for the accounting office to get vouchers in? When do they process? They process on Wednesdays. Wednesday, so they need them by Tuesday. Tuesday. And I make sure that that's what I've <clears> been doing is making sure I have everything signed by then so that I get it to them. And then if I get some a bunch in on Friday or something, I'll just let you know. And Throw an email out. Yeah. 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 As long as you don't mind me sending something to you, but I don't mind. Yeah, vouchers, please, you. please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you but can text me. I yeah. can Worst I can swing in any time. Two is good, two is send, it, send an email mm -hmm. or a text or so, you know, whatever, however people want to. But yeah. what, what, what is the best way to get hold of people? Either it, To me, it's either, either way. Doesn't yeah. Either way is fine, text. yeah. I don't think we've ever been overdue on paying anyone beyond 30 days or 45 days or anything. No, I th yeah, the only part that I've seen with things like that is if you have a, a 210 net 30, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, you lose out on a 2% discount yeah, because think, it takes too long. I don't long think anybody discounts us. No, no, well, our you'd vendors be surprised. are pretty good about that. Uh, they, know our, they know the way the system works. Yeah, they know it's slow, but you'd be surprised. There's a lot of vendors. I don't think we get a 2% discount on anybody for payment on a 10th. No. <laughs> I mean, it works in our business. The wholesale house, the duck two percent. Right. Yeah, but I, if, if, like I said, email send it, send an email out or a reminder, sure. email or text. And, and we'll if you do have any of those that have a two ten net thirty or something, I'll make sure. Make yeah. sure people Absolutely. know and we'll yeah. just push them through faster. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's a no vote, right? Um, sounds like a pretty much no action. Well, we'll just make a motion to uh, ignore one signature and still require two. That sounds good. Come on, don't you? Scott? Uh, um, all right, make a motion to, uh, keep it. to, to continue. Keep uh, the signing of vouchers as is with, uh, with two signatures required. 
Second. It's been seconded. No other discussion. We've had a good discussion on it. All those in favor of two on item seven? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Good job. All right, number eight, review of superintendent's job description continued. Uh, I'm, I didn't grab my folder on my way out, um, so I don't have a copy of it here. But have, did, any, did everybody get a copy of that when I emailed it out? Mm -hmm. That's, I still I don't think I'm head? getting emails from you still. Well, what? Was not, no, you didn't. Okay. Well, I got out. the email from her. Okay, but you've got... Do you have, did you get a copy of that? Uh, of the you didn't, okay. What did you email, Scott? Uh, it was a, um, the, uh, we had a meeting here. Revised. Uh, to revise job any description. job description. In the uh, office. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't make that one. You didn't make that one, but no. that, well, I sent out, I, I brought it home, cut it up exactly oh, the way right. we talked about it. Right. And that, um, this is, th this is the original. Okay. This is the original. Um, oh, right. Yeah, it's so three pages both, yeah. long. We cut it down over, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. a little less than a page and a half, and streamlined it, and just need to get everybody to review it. Oh, these are yeah, two thousand. So we can, so we can make a. Uh, All right, that's the old one. Yeah. Yeah, right. the three, yeah. the three page. Yeah. And that's the, there were two copies of this the same. This is the thing. new one. No, that's the same no, one. This is that's the same, same as same, that. It's yeah. the same. They're, they're the same. Yep. All right. This says six name. Yep. There's. We've got a bunch of copies. If, if it's three pages, it's the old one. Uh, we cut it down to just a uh, oh, little less. I don't less, have a two-page one. A little less than a page and a half. I'll, 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 I can't get at it Take a look phone. at yours. I can't get at it from my phone. He didn't bring it. Oh, all right. Nobody's Nobody has a here. copy here right now. I don't know what happened. I'll, so I'll send it out. Again. We'll have to bring it up again. So what, what, what are you heading, where are you heading with that, Scott, as far as obviously our paperwork is George, interim water, and sewer and superintendent? Do you want to make this a concrete firm position? To we, we, get, we, it, we, get it done. We yeah. can't leave it interim forever. Yeah. Um, we we do need to uh, to move on that, but uh, we need to have a job. Uh, at least to me, in my thought, we need to have a a firm job description. Can we table this till next month? Yeah, we'll have to table it. But the next question on on that, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll find that email and is, send it out again. Is personnel board involved? Um, I think we'd have to approve it, and then um, you get forwarded to personnel, the personnel board. board. You know, so it's and they're, they're going to in this in talking with a couple of them, they're going to unless there's something legal, a legal issue with what we were put in it, um, they're not going to um, uh, they're going to pretty much accept what we what we give them. Uh, should we, like, like in, said, in the side, interim, side should we contact side. the personnel board and let them know that we would like to nail this position down soon? You can reach out to them. Yeah, could, um, you know, do you, do you think I, I spoke with Peter Fox yeah. and I spoke with uh, Peter. Who, who um, was Peter in there? Then there, Clark. Do you, uh, Jen, do you ever see board? any personnel board come yeah, into Peter the office? Said, yeah. Can you He's talk to Peter there. someday and tell Absolutely. him it's in the near future we want to clean it up? Sure. In other words, it should be nobody. I mean, we're already talking September now, so we want to have it cleaned up by the end of the year. Right. Right. I'd, I'd like to get that sooner rather than later. Buttoned yeah. up because we can't, like I said, we can't leave it, uh, the job in interim forever. Um, we, we need to firm things up. So, what's the next step? I know we want to get the firm job description first, but then is it required to do an internal posting for two weeks? Or I'm not sure if there's a. I don't think that would qualify because of the qualifications needed. Yeah. There that, wouldn't be anybody. Well, that's regard. That's regardless. that's not for us to determine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 the yeah, janitor could be sitting on a grade four T. It would have to be posted. Well, in yeah, but I mean, for the qualifications that you need, I don't think that any other town employees are going to be eligible for the job unless they already work for the department. Right. And even that, they're not yet. They're but that's not really for us to determine. Yeah, the Somebody could have the licenses yeah, that just may, don't tell you. We, they we just, may have to go through a post. You never know. I just I think, I think that's do. not going to happen. I agree with you. I'm just saying logistically, I don't know if that's a policy. The personnel board would, would determine that. Right. Uh, I'm pretty so, sure we have to. Please reach out and keep us posted so we can take care of this next time. Yeah, we just want to move this along. Move it along and do it right. That's what I mean. I just don't want to get hung up and say, oh, wait a minute. Now you still got to post it for another two weeks. We have it, to go it, goes, it goes internally for the for the department first and the senior person in the department. Is that the policy? That's that the, the policy. And then it, it goes, goes within the and department it goes first. The, okay. the inner 
sanctum of the town. Well, that's the policy. And it goes then outside if, after that. If you know that's the policy, then yeah. we can move forward that way. Oh, that's that's right. Right. We'll work on it and we'll, and we'll Just want to make sure we don't run into another roadblock. All the guidelines right. then. <clears throat> okay, Scott. Okay. Uh, item number nine, discussion of union positions. <sighs> slash continue. Just email the text. What's that? What's that about, George? Uh, that's a little bit more of some of the guys that weren't here. That, that's um, when we discussed last time. And, and yeah, this was at the last meeting. We had we had some of the conversations that there's there's specific wording in the DEP regulations as to the positions. You need a primary operator, a secondary operator, and that's not the way the union positions are written. Um, they are required to have licenses. You know mm -hmm. before the working in the position essentially um, so that's some of the stuff that you know I had asked for a copy of the union contract I have an old one but <coughs> um, we need to get those clarified and I would probably like to get a letter to the union saying you know these are the actual job titles you know we can't really go by your job titles because they don't meet the legal requirement that we're required to fall under <coughs> Right. Well, I, I agree with you there because the way that union language is, uh, like truck driver or mechanic labor, yeah, it's or not applied. Yeah, it just says it's water operator, with, uh, assistant uh, water, work and that's Distri yeah. right. Distribution yeah. or treatment. Right. That was problem. That contract was problem. It's probably the same verbiage from forty years ago. So I'm actually at a primary operator's rate right now, and then there's the superintendent is higher. But the primary operator is the one that does a lot of the internal physical plant, paper structure, that so kind of thing. So how would we go forward over. with that? We'd have to talk to the union. They have a rep, I guess, a union rep. I would assume, yeah. Who's so retiring soon. <laughs> so, I mean, we would have to have something on letterhead from the water and sewer department yeah. that it's our wish to change the uh, titles. I don't, I don't know that you would have to tell them a wish I would more say no, by state mandate. No, we're required this is, it. This yeah, is right. required oh, that's the right. right this is I okay. get the okay uh, we can state the regulation can you uh, afford a copy of the regulation while we're in our discussion in. phase here since how you're in the field and up on it can you work with George and Jen yep about okay. the correct language of how we want to go about doing this yeah I had printed yeah, I mean the motor the motor licensing and yeah. everything and you yeah. can line up the positions one two three yeah yeah yeah, we've had talk about this right along. So we're all, all on board, right. understanding. Myself, I'm all in favor of it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if we have to, whether we're afraid. Uh, you guys approved this, I think, last meeting. Just you approved that you we, acknowledged it, and it was we right. Yeah. We acknowledged that it needed to be done, and that yeah, so that's all you really need right now. It's going to have to go through the the union contract's going to have to be yeah. open to, to, I guess to we do could, that. We, and so whether you know whether they like it or not. For public discussion, we could make a motion that we're given. Uh, Email. Possibly Robert Sullivan and Jen and George to move forward on that language. Yeah, yeah, and they if can put together yeah, can the, work on that, the yeah. issues that need to be brought forth. That's all. And yeah. You know. Crappy signal. Now we're quiet. Make a motion. How do you want to do this? Oh, I think you just want to you want to make a motion to uh, to move forward. Except the uh, the discussion well, for the made, union we, positions. We did that. We did that last month. Right. You know, they're just they're just gonna. Well, I, I think we should have it in writing that it took place tonight. That we're, we're making the motion and move forward with it. This way, it's a public document. People read the minutes. Right. Okay. That way, Bob, uh, George, and Jen can get together and start it up. Yep. Okay. Is that a motion? Well, uh, yeah. I guess I'll make a motion to have uh, to have. Uh, Bob Johnson, Bob Sullivan. Sullivan sorry, <laughs> uh, work with. I know your uh, name is Johnson. <laughs> Sullivan Johnson. Yeah, would Bob Sullivan work with uh, with George and Jen to uh, to firm up the um, uh, the language and the, the language <coughs> for um, you gotta get the, the uh, union union yeah. Yeah, our, our union position yeah, our we'll put collective bargaining there. position. I have Steve D'Amico's number. So. Okay, we have a motion on discussion of union for, positions for. Uh, September can it can it be done for September? Well, this is going to be a long meeting. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're well, uh, as uh, it should be pretty as easy to that as, as we can be. Yeah. Okay, I mean we yeah. might call a union rep up and he's on vacation for three weeks. Right. You know, so we'll try to be as prompt as we can be on that. Okay. So that motion, do we have a second on that motion or any other discussion? I'll second. It's been seconded. I think we all know what we're talking about in that regards. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous on uh, line number nine. That's great. 
Discussion of uh, water sewer rate increases. Uh, somewhere here tonight, I know we ha we've had meetings, and I know Brian and the guys have been working on where we're going because we also know we were very lean this year budget-wise as far as collecting money. And I know somewhere here Jen had a sheet of paper. And to be honest with you, it's been, the last time we did any rate increases were like 2007 or 2008. Oh, wow. So we're way over well, doing it. It's been a long time. And what we did, we did, uh, it's here in front of me somewhere, we did put out little stuffers about yeah. a public hearing for next we will put out the stuff that way for our public hearing next month. And yeah. we will put that in this building that's going out soon so the public is being informed that rate increases are coming. And I, I, this, I, we wouldn't want to do anything by just sending out a bill and shocking them. Right. No. Well, yeah, you're required to have a public hearing. Right. 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 And uh, yes. I don't know. I don't know. I had it. I don't. Yeah, I have a copy that I grabbed yeah. earlier. Yeah. But you know, it is. Fred, um, Fred has the yeah, yeah, yeah. to set up with a public hearing. Well, 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 those are the rate increases, but the uh, the uh, the little paragraph we were going to send out, there is a paragraph here somewhere that we were sending out in the stuff is to sh uh, tell the people that the public hearing is coming about rate okay. increases. Have so you already decided on these rates, or we no, talked we about one. it at one meeting already? <clears throat> we didn't but them. you didn't want to vote. Scott didn't want to vote on it. Okay, so I, we pushed it down the road. I. Um, it's just because of the way the rates were set. Yeah, I'm just a little weary on it right now. Just, just having some conversations, trying to figure out how it was. I mean, how you're splitting up, like your salary, your salary. Um, I'm not quite sure why you came up with the splits that you had. As far as I think you have it like 70/30. 70/30. I'm I'm not understanding why it's not 50/50 because, like the office, the the overhead, oh. all that stuff. I mean, it's. It's not like, oh, we're only using 30% of the office for sewer. It's, you know. It's the amount of time that, the, that, that they spend on sewer on water versus yeah. sewer. It's, they it's spend more time on, on water related issues than they do on sewer. Yeah. So right now so we're just trying to try to salary make salary right 70% the, the water. But what would you say they, I mean, billing, meter reading? I know they say, oh, well, we spend so much time meter reading, but your meter reading, you're billing sewer off of your water meter reads. It's not like you're going out reading sewer meters. It's, it's so also the so number of sewer readers versus the number of water, which it basically does boil down to 70-30 yeah. when all is said and done between the projects and the other work and the customer service. Most Deal, of the customer dealing service with generates DEP, from water. Dealing with tie and bond. Well, tie and bond yeah. is actually reports to DEP. But again, you're still that's all water. Most of that's all water. You're running stuff. an office, essentially. You can't say, oh, well, we're only going to pay 30% of the bill this month because we only use the office for 30% of the time. That's, you, that, that's a separate, you know what I mean? the office and it's all of that is all part of our, um, our indirect, retained earnings. Indirect, 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 indirect. Well, it's indirect, but you're, but you're basing these fees in what you're charging based on whatever you're paying for those fees, the indirect. It doesn't really matter what you're calling the fee. It's a... It's an expense to the department, and that's how you're justifying what your rates are. You need to, like, if DOR asks you, how are you justifying these rates, you know, you need to be able to sit down and say, well, here's why we come up with these these numbers. Um, I don't know if you've dealt with DOR at all. Did, did uh, Brian do that? No? no we yeah, Brian I mean, went we through and, and came up with some of this, but. But they did, he, that's, some, of, some of those numbers, I, and when he came in and he, he admitted himself, I mean, they just picked the number. Yeah, he a just kind of sounds a dollar, dollar sounds about right. It should be more. Uh, um, uh, our previous member um, talked about how it should be based on um, you take your fixed costs, divide that by the number of users, and you take your total number of, total amount of uh, total number of gallons pumped per year, divide that out by the number. Of users, and and that's your that's your rate, and then you do the same with sewer, um, and you actually have a a concrete. Um, Theoretically, that's correct, but you still have uh, that numerical so. equation to figure it out. It, 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 it takes a little bit of number crunching to do it, but it's not. Yeah, you know, we have all the numbers. We just have to, it just has to be. Do you think we ought to sit down and go over it before the 
public hearing? I think if we're going to have a public hearing on the September meeting, we should probably pull a no, meeting you're going to pull I was, just, I was going to say, meeting uh, together in yeah. between right. now and then. To you just got to think, are you prepared to answer questions from right. people that are irate about bills as to how you're justifying those rates? No. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the time frame is, uh, if you had something in mind on when you need these rates approved by. You bill quarterly, and when's these bills going out? It's just we don't know. We just finished cycle one, so the next one will go out till October. November. Yeah, but on cycle October. one is in the mail. Cycle one should be in the mail. So we don't even. So the, you the couldn't even put the stuffers in anyway. No, the st no the stuffers. You put them in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The stuff is. Um, yeah. oh, so we have to act on, act on this then. Yeah. So, so in other words, before our September meeting for the public hearing, we. Uh, have to have, we have to have confirmation and a concrete plan of how we achieve that number. Right. Can make a workshop in the office or something yeah. and post it. Yeah. And then we the all can get together and explain various situations, you know, so everybody's on the same page as to where they want or where they, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I understand the 70 30, to, to a lot of it, would, would, but sometimes. As long as you can justify on, on yeah. how you came up with those numbers, I'm just a little weary on. I mean, there's. The work, I know you say you put. 70 percent and 30 percent but i mean it, it's it's hard to tell the public that oh you know go through every little thing well here's the log and they've gone through this they're doing this now with water this is water 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 then all of a sudden we'll sewer. it's hard to do that but if everybody's happy and comfortable so i just want everybody to be comfortable that where so in, uh, where this is coming from in so like two weeks jen uh, what's your opinion uh as far as let's say employees coming in to see you I, I seem to see the water guys coming in more often than the sewer guys. Yeah, and what do you think phone call wise? Yeah. Definitely re more water. Related. It's yes. more water than sewer. Yes. So you think 70 30 versus 60 40? Yeah. I'm more towards 70. But like I said, I want everybody to be comfortable with it. So I'm, you know, I'd say get some kind of workshop at the office, host it. Whoever yeah, the commissioners we, come in and want to. We have the budgets the, you know, at this workshop. Um, we need the budgets, the number of users. That's what I was going to say. I don't, know. Spent. I don't know what you have or readily available or how, how much detail you can pull out of the, the billing software, whether they can break it down by usages or. Um, Working on trying to see about that, yes. Uh, because you have to, you got that intermix there, both together and stuff. You try, so you're going to go in for the separate who's just on sewer, who's just on water, blah, blah, blah. That right. So I don't. I mean, I think you had said earlier that you can pull up a, you can put it, you can ex export into an Excel sheet yes. and it tells the usage. Yes. Because you really, I mean, it's hard to justify rates, especially if you're using step rates without knowing what your, you know, this block has this much usage. So it's going to generate this dollar amount, you know, without being able to actually sit down and show what these rate increases are going to generate in revenue, additional revenue. It's hard Some to justify. Some of these are, are uh, user fee based, and uh, where others where it uses a lot of water. Some of the bigger companies, the ones that are affected the right, most. Right, that's a step rate. Yeah. So, so um, like I said, um, the, this would be probably the best way to go about it is to sit down with everybody and go through it, so everybody's right, comfortable. I'm just looking to see what we can pull for information so people can kind of look through it and you we know, can make up some templates. I'm pretty good in Excel, you. so I can extrapolate numbers pretty easily and pretty quickly and put it into something that would kind of give you a breakdown as to going from this rate to this rate should equate to this much money yes. this is this much additional revenue because you've got to get these numbers to justify that you're going to create whatever your budget is you know if you're spending a million dollars you need to show that you're going to generate a million dollars and you know theoretically typically when you're doing a budget for a, an enterprise fund you want to have say $50,000 a year going into retained earnings to cover future expansion or you know water main replacements you don't always want to you know wait until all right they're all breaking we got to replace them all I mean you had meetings earlier that we see how much that's gonna cost I don't, I don't so you got to start oh, okay you know trying to whatever number the board decides on you know we want to generate 25,000 a year going into retained earnings or a hundred thousand you know like I said, it's, it's whatever the consensus is. But you need to prove that whatever you set your rates at is going to generate that. I mean, if you haven't done rates in over 10 years, it may be a, a, a matter of we're going to have to look at this in a step process where 
this year we're going to bring the budget up to get us to level fund our budget again so you're not struggling to get by and you know hey we can't order chemical kind of cut back or you know those are things that you don't want to do so you don't want to hit rate shock either you know people have been lucky they haven't had rate increases in over 10 years so you might have to step it in get us up to where it's a, a decent budget and then the you know next year look at it again and say all right we're going to do one more increase to get us to that point that we should be at yeah. don't forget we've been double funded for a long time too every year we're right so i mean and that's the and that's the thing that you're not going to see when you're looking at a rate study and people say oh well what do you need to increase for we've got by with the same budget for the same amount of years but you've been suffering yeah trying to do it on that subject do we have any information when we put our fiscal budget together this spring from the town treasurer of how far we were off and because you you guys were pulling your hair out trying to bounce move numbers there's around. been some discrepancy in the budget the, you know, from, from the what was our uh, in other words our projected shortfall but that that put us into this yeah. situation do we know what the projected shortfall was i this year there was a few numbers thrown out there i can tell you what caused the projected shortfall mm -hmm. but as far as the actual number i can't mm -hmm. tell you but you know with the overtime and, and, and the various breaks and things we had for supplies and other problems we had with the, with uh, replacing the uh, things uh, got right. very expensive. But those are the reasons that you try to put, you know, you got to justify why your rates are going to be what they are to cover a budget. Right. But you can't just base it on a budget that you've been level funded for the last however many years. And I mean, it may look like it's costing more because you're raising the rates, but I can tell you right now, it's costing a lot more because you're trying to do things under emergency conditions as opposed to saying, all right, we've got money in the budget, let's fix yeah. this so we're not spending 30 hours a, a week on overtime yeah. because we can't fix the problem yet. Yeah. We, we all, you know, as we explained in previous meetings, you all know exactly what, how things progressed and how things happened and what, you know, what it caused those things yeah. to happen. So, but you gotta uh, head in the right direction. There is a lot of retaining of recouping for the next budget, keep our budget in line for next year, for anticipated issues for next year. So it's all a part of that formula to, uh, together. But yeah, I mean, like I said, that would be a good thing just to have everybody come together because various opinions, various uh, skills as far as that goes could be very helpful. Mr. Chairman, yeah. we want to meet in a couple of weeks and discuss this. I think it's very important, yes. I'm going to say, I mean, if it's, yeah, if you're trying to do yeah, rates. Could I, we have Brian here? Is Brian not or a big uh, rate increase from what I'm reading here. Well, it's not, but that may be the yeah. problem. It, he may have said, oh, you know, let's change these numbers around so and it looks good. But saying you think that it's not enough? We don't know. We I don't, haven't we looked. Don't at, know I haven't looked at any of the budget okay. stuff yet. Well, no. I, I skim all, through all stuff. All I'm saying is this: you know, the the estimated 1,820 water uses, it's a 675 base rate increase. 1,820 times 625 is 12,285. 625 isn't a lot of money. No. You know. No. Well, no, and, and 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 how do we justify that? And are we doing? Are we doing what we should be doing? Is it enough? Right. Is it too much? Yeah. We don't know. Because I don't, I don't think it's. We I picked. don't think it's enough. I, and well, I, I have. To be honest with you, just looking at what I've seen in the short time that I've been here and trying to go through as much as I can, as quick as I can, I agree. I doubt that you're. Right. I don't. You're think hit, I don't think you're hitting the target. You need to hit. I agree with that. Just, I mean, you can go around and see what's. No, I know what my bill is. What's it's lacked? Not, it's not expensive. I don't think so. Well, look at your bill and try to live without water and sewer. Water and sewer. But look at what you're paying for cable and internet. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> put gas in the car. My cable bill's higher than my water. Yeah. So, uh, well, do we want to try and meet on the 21st? That's if that's fine. What, uh, what, what night is what that? It's a Wednesday night. Two weeks from time. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. And I think we should have, have it in our mind that we come out with an answer that particular night that we hash it out. We're going to in the out. office. Right. What and that's what we, we present to, to the out. public. Right. And do you have a copy of what was sent out in the flyer? Y yes. Just did you I, did you have dates or any of that thing? Yeah, George. Um, excuse me. Jay. George, George. I Jay. can't find it. We had had a. It was just like I know you gave me that. Do you still have it? I saw it. Did I move it around? What are you looking for? That just that lip. little piece of paper that on the top, where we could just cut the uh, cut it for the. Uh, I don't know if I gave it back to someone else. So I'm just not sure what, what this here. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was the stuff. Of, yeah, it's just. If, uh, 
time allows at this meeting two weeks from now, um, if everybody's looked at the superintendent. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can discuss yeah. that. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe we, can. we can. Maybe we just have to put an agenda together. So I don't you want get to put too much on it. Because yeah, I think just, I mean, just, get the, two the, items. Well, just those two. Maybe three. I don't know if you want to get your reorganization done. Oh, yeah, we have to do the reorganization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That'll only take a little. Yeah. But you just need to make sure you meet the posting requirements because it's required to be posted in the newspaper or whatever. Well, we talked about that two newspaper, weeks. the uh, access channel out front here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, you got. You've already said that the public hearing will be Wednesday, September 4th, so you got to make sure you cover your, your basis and make sure you hit what's supposed to be in that public hearing. Absolutely. Which would be, uh, you'll be getting in touch with the Webster Times, yep. and we'll get in touch with the people in front of, with the take care of the board. Absolutely. To get it out on the board. But that's what, that, that looks good? Yeah. Just to want. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure they didn't. Just to inform the people that it's coming. Put anything in there, but at Sellers. least you're just. Simple. Yeah, yeah. less information because then you're not tied. The best down thing we can do is inform the public that it's coming. Okay, <clears throat> okay so uh, Tom, twenty uh, first. Yes, you'll get. We'll keep that posted, Jim. We'll get a couple of reminders of the upcoming meeting, yes. and we can hold that in the office. Reorganization. No, that'll be uh, in September. Um, I mean, it's only take a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. well, say that's, that's a short that quick thing. First. Put, yeah. put the meeting. Do that first. Do, keep everything. You know, the, the, the reorganization. That that. The job, job description, description and, and the, budget. And the budget. rate study. Yeah. Yes. We okay. should be able to handle all of that and get it done. Yeah. Yeah. And I will have a copy of the budget, the all the user, and I'll see what else I can get for that meeting out of Numbers, point. yeah. Okay. Make yeah, sure I might stop in and see it. Uh, Absolutely. See what it's we can come up with. Make sure the yeah. annual pump, uh, annual uh, water pump. Well, is that what? Quantities. Statistical pump report. Yeah. Stati yeah, the statistical reports okay. and stuff like that. And what in the total absolute? Oh, that's the end oh, of the yeah. month. Yeah, the sewer. Right now, yeah, right now. Yeah. <coughs> um, you're going to get the scrap. You're going to make sure everybody has your. Yes. Update. I'll make sure that gets to. Yeah, Webster's just charging you a flat rate right now. Right. But we have usages for the sewer side. We have a formula we have to go with, but they they say the ultimate what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's the, we'd have to get it from them basically. Right. That's but at least. Fault. Yeah, this was arranged. <coughs> this was arranged way back in the day. Well, but if you have a set rate fair, that you're paying and you know what your customers are using, you can. Yeah. 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 Well, we're paying sure. a percentage of the what's the plan. Right. Well, you know, there was well, talk of paying for something that's not being used. That? It's supposed to be. Though we, we don't know. The last <laughs> there was just something that came. I just remember hearing something about that. The, the last. Uh, Lori had received some information that the latest true up was coming and that it was um, in our favor. It was something yeah. we were going to so thirty thousand dollars or something. Some, some, something like uh, it was uh, five digits uh -huh. um, above the above the decimal point. That seems to move uh, very slowly. So but uh, it, it supposedly it's coming. Um, and that was something that Laurie had mentioned so just sure just after standing. the elections. Yes. That she had heard something about that. Um, Keep her eyes on the mail. Yes. <laughs> Keep her eyes on the mailbox. Okay. All right. Discussion of the capital improvement and loan meeting. That was held this morning. George? Yeah, Bob and Jay attended that with me. Um, the Ty and Barn is doing all the processes <laughs> for the SRF loan. Uh, putting compiling all the information necessary. Uh, we had some inputs into it too, so everybody's on the same page. Town administrator was there, uh, so everybody is on board as far as the loan goes. Uh, we still have uh, a ways to go to find out exactly what our needs are going to be for Station One's rehab. That'll be on the loan. AC pipe replacement on Mason Road, tank projects. Um, Station Three is a little different as far as the well part of it, because that's an emergency. But there's also some revamping of stations that are going to be done. Every station is going to get a revamp inside, tanks, pipes, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Pumps we do as we go because we need that. So uh, that part of it uh, is on board with, with the people from Ty and Bond, along with the sewer I and I. That wasn't really discussed at that meeting. It was more on the water side of for, the, for, those, uh, for those loans. Whatever happens, we will be getting some kind of loan down the line because I need to get Station 1 online as a third water source 
in, a, in that going. So uh, the town administrator and the town treasurer will be working with us on those loans, well, however it goes, which way. Uh, some kind of loan will be happening. Uh, the other part of it was just for capital capital improvement stuff. Mostly it was the highway that came, uh, did their capital improvements. We really are on board with what we have right now. Um, I would imagine down the line, I'll be, I may be looking for a truck replacement here and there. They're getting old. Uh, but that's that's that's, that's, that's down the line. That we, we, we do that. Yeah. As, as, as I'm as trying as to be as careful as because of our budgets and everything right, right now. So, but it, if it needs it needs, it may have to present it at some later future. George, you're talking a water truck, right? Yeah, water truck. Okay. So that's basically that in a nutshell. Uh, is there a particular truck or? Yeah, our 203 is really rusting out badly. The, and mm. uh, the, my 207 is also old. And, but is yours I, the big utility? The big utility is a good one right now. In fact, that's the newest, but that's yeah, the that's the new one. The two eleven. <coughs> no, no, the two eleven. The two the two eighteen is the one that John formerly had, but unfortunately, really, it's it's a low grade. It's a it's a medium duty truck, but we're going to use it for some kind of a, to, a secondary toolbox truck because it's low to the ground. But I need a heavy duty pickup for plow and uh, for heavy duty work if we need it, like the sewer has, like a two fifty or three fifty, something with a with a more stronger chassis on it. Uh, How much plowing do you do? We do all our stations, which is quite a lot, and, and uh, we won't be plowing for the town. I was going to say, that's just for the just water Just for our, our needs. That seven-foot plow doesn't cut it. What kind of plow do you use? Right right now, we borrow this, the sewer department opens us up, and then I come in with the backhoe and <coughs> take care of it with the machine if it's a big storm. If it's a small, light storm, the 203 can do it with the seven-foot plow. Can't go over three inches with that because it's not geared for that. It gets stuck. It gets damaged. So uh, we're looking at replacing the, a new pickup with an eight-foot plow, fisher plow. You well, know, you're probably plow. talking like an F-350 with a utility bar. <coughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to keep the. We're going to make it a utility adaption to the to the truck we have now because, like I said, it's low to the ground mm -hmm. and it makes a nice little secondary work truck. The pickup truck will be higher, so that'll be more uh, <coughs> heavy-duty truck pulling the compressors, putting equipment in it, plowing. Um, a regular pickup. A right, regular pickup that's a little bit higher and, and more durable. But that's like I said, we're, we're trying to hold off right now until we get some of the big stuff uh, done. I'd, I'd strongly recommend looking at the V plow. I don't know if any of you plow, but uh, I plow all the time. I, I, it's a good and it's not because some of the avenues we have to go with it. A V plow may be a little cumbersome because sometimes we have to angle off in certain directions more, yeah, it's about more carefully when balls. we get around some of these stations. Yeah, have you seen how the V plows work? Yeah, but yeah. I can tell you, I, yeah, you we, I bought them yeah. for us. I, we bought one. It cuts the time in half yeah. of plowing. You can stack three times as high. It just, yeah. I don't know if you've got any steep driveways or anything you go in, but some of them we can't get in with a straight plow. You put the V plow, you can go right yeah. up. It doesn't, you know. I can plow on two wheel drive with that plow. Yeah. It's crazy. But on, well worth the money. On the, the discussion of <coughs> I would love in there for the capital improvement, we just have one assignment we have to have uh, for the fall town meeting that we, we uh, voted in the affirmative. I believe, George, we have to check it to give the engineer for him yeah, to yeah. go ahead. To that's, uh, I think the next meeting or something would be that yeah. one time to do that. You know, but we have, have to that's, that's our obligation, so it's a, a le such a legal document that we're going understand. for the SRF loan that we voted to, to apply for it. And well, the their paperwork has to be in by what, August 23rd? I believe that was what it was. Something yeah. like that. So it's <coughs> rush, rush, rush. But what it is is because of the timelines and the deadlines for the SRF, you have to have the, the design, the engineering, the design portion of it done, and SRF doesn't cover design money. Yeah. So we have to get that approved at town meeting to have the design for whatever projects they plan on moving forward. So we, we need we, to approve the design so that they can work on that because they got to get the design to an 80% design before you can, before SRF will, will award you the money so you need to need to have that done and then the plan from the meeting today was to get the design done so that in the springtown meeting we can try to put before the the residents to uh get the loan home going. the srf loan oh, yeah. moving yeah we have a little little homework there <coughs> we should try to get a copy of that paperwork at the office so everybody can see how they broke the work down there'll be more information flowing yeah. down the pipeline too so you can have it all right. They had an extended list of jobs, but in the end, I think we broke it down to Station 1, Station 3, and the AC okay. pipe. 
You know, we're not going all over. I do, yeah. Go I just can't do all over. I thought right, right. Our right. concentration is Mason Road, yeah. Mason Road. Yeah. Mason Road. <laughs> Imagine the start this yeah. way. Maybe, maybe not even do the finger streets off the sides right, right. now. Right. Right. Just what, what's up with yeah. the... Um, Community improvement or whatever it was, the one. No that word on that yet. Out. I asked about that yet. There's nothing on that yet. Nothing. Because they have that. to know that on this. That's a separate. Approval. That's, that's a separate thing. Client. That's not going to affect that's this. That's a grant. That's a grant thing. That's, that's something for that program. Jericho area that to cover the Jericho area yeah. and get all the AC pipe down there taken care of. But we this, we discussed that in the yeah, meeting they, too. They, they realize yeah. that has to be part of their paperwork that we also are working on other grants. So that that's the update. There is paperwork out there, and we're working on it. The town meeting vote, <coughs> and like Bob said, <coughs> we have to pay for engineering out of our pocket. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's that about two percent, Bob? Maybe that is that what they the had it. They were looking. Oh, the two percent. Two percent yeah. rate. That's what the loan is. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. two percent rate. But, but we could we, we, for two I mean, and a half or three percent <coughs> for another no, loan. I mean, may, it they may. list the paperwork was as high as like sixteen million dollars <coughs> worth of work. Which let's face it, we can't afford to pay back sixteen million dollars. No. <coughs> you know, not my life, Yeah. But some of that, I mean, I've always kind of pushed away from SRF loans, yeah. just because they make you jump through hoops, all the red tape. You got to follow DEP's schedule. They're out here inspecting. You got to, you know, oh, you have to do this before we'll let you do that. So it's set up like a bridge job. You have goals. And, yeah. you know. Exactly, and you have to follow their time frames. Yeah. They release the money to pay contractors yeah. when they see that, that you've reached whatever milestones, right. and it's a two percent loan. Back when interest rates were seven, eight, nine percent, yeah, you jump all over these. But, but right now, right now, you can I probably trade. get close to that for a traditional loan, right? Maybe through three, the bank. Three and exactly. Percent. Right now, our <coughs> treasurer could probably get two or two and a quarter. Yeah. Whatever they do, the time bond does that. It's good for future endeavors <coughs> if we want to go for some of the things. The, 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 the <coughs> we, we were we were led down that path a few months ago about all this money <coughs> and loans and everything out there. So hey. We are reacting. But the, We're looking for it. Right. The only advantage to going for SRF, in my experience, anytime the states offered grants, like, oh, we've got infrastructure grants. We're going to give you 50% match to, to lay new water main or replace all your asbestos pipe or whatever. Anytime they, they offer those grants, they only offer them through an SRF. So if you don't have an SRF loan, now you're ineligible for yeah. the uh, grant. So. Okay. That's we're, about we're the only right reason thing. I would we're, say we're move right forward thing. with going for the SRF yeah. is it opens you up for that opportunity to get a grant. Not that you, you're guaranteeing to get it, but if you don't have the SRF, if you just go for a traditional loan, yeah, no now you're out of the no, yeah, right. out of the loop for the for the SRF. And like I say, th th this might bounce back and forth for a couple of years before we hear anything. There's no guarantee because the the entire <coughs> state is competing against us. Well, you know, that's what it is. All right, George, water and sewer reports. Uh, so I'll do the sewer first. Uh, they work with us on Ridge Drive doing a break over there. I appreciate the help. I mean, we also paid that up pretty quickly. Uh, they did fix a lot of the manhole covers that had problems. Uh, they were out there doing that. They did some jetting, uh, especially in front of Ramco and Schofield Ave. Uh, took care of They cut some roofs up over there. Uh, they did the meter reading with the water department and did the extra well readers. So that's all been done. Thanks for everybody's... <coughs> quick work on that because we got in time for the billing and also the meter repair list uh, <coughs> along with our guys they contributed with that and they did some camera on Schofield Ave and they did find a manhole over there so that was good uh, over where Schofield Ave one that was buried up Mike didn't say um, uh, I'd, I'd try to ask I forgot all about it's it it's on asking. the Avenue yeah it's on Schofield Avenue it's one yeah. of the manholes that had been covered over or something really? paved over and up. they paved over yeah uh, water meaning uh, water uh, water uh, again our last month's bacteria samples came back clean thank goodness for that uh, and like I said our guys did water uh, water and sewer meter reads uh, did all the repair list everything was done pretty quickly uh, Jen did a great job for a first time completing all that getting the billing out in time for rich so everything seemed to be working out pretty good uh, we did we we're doing our ongoing identifying of, of of meters out there, a little unordinary or situations, if you know what I'm saying, uh, mm -hmm. to, in looking into a lot of that. And there is some a lot of that out there, so we're working on that. Um, I've also went over the Truman Ave Lions Road subdivision project with uh, Mike. Uh, we did some tweaking on that. I notified the engineer for revisions, and he's supposed to get that back to me. Some small revisions, man, uh, certain uh, clean outs at certain spots, identify the curb stops and uh, uh, 
the outlet is going to go towards the Mike, you're talking about Mike the, the Mike Great. Oh, Great. Right, okay. So, okay. Uh, Lincoln Station 3 has been repaired. We put in two new ball valves at the station. Uh, that's that was, for the tanks. That was the chemical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so that's all set. That's that's all set for now. So we're back into normal running with that. Um, we also uh, bought a, uh, got a new chlorine, the new chlorine analyzer for Station 6, the one that's causing the alarms problem on that particular station is in. It's working good. We've had no issues with it so far. And, and the alarms have not been activated because of it with the spiking. So that's been a great great situation going. Station 3 is getting a new one ordered for that station too because we've had some issues with that. They're all old systems and they've been kind of mm -hmm. at the five, six year period. So uh, we're going to be taking care of that. Uh, I'm uh, revamping two of the chlorine pumps with new PVC headers on them. Supposed to be more heavy duty, uh, less leakage. Uh, uh, I'm going to be repairing a couple of them in our, uh, that we have. I'm going to be ordering a new one for station 6 because that's been there for quite a while and we're having problems with that. That's going to be a heavy duty one. And I'm also looking at a new KOH pump for station three. It's an EMIC pump. It's supposed to be, would be a secondary pump, but it would also can serve as a primary pump because this, the pumps there are 20 years old. So I don't want to, you don't want to mess with that. Uh, and also the skater systems coming around on installation, the new antennas and that are beginning is the first phase of the operation. You put antennas on the buildings. Then it's all out from there, start the whole systems to right to station one, station six, station three, and he'll brought it out from there. But it's a long process, plus it's using laptop work. I'm not big familiar with the SCADA, but it's supposed, it'll take care of a lot of our issues with communication. We still have communication issues with station six right now with the analog. Comes in, comes out. So we have to be careful with that. Uh, we have to sometimes put the station on manual or vice versa. Uh, and so it's been a real pain, and it's not really good now. I've got stations running it almost 24-7 right now uh, in the hot weather we've had and this and that. Uh, the pumpage has been up a bit, but uh, should what's, stabilize. What's up with Station 3? Station 3's project is well underway. Uh, it's going on the surveying side of things. Uh, DP looks at the survey of where the well, the well is going to be in relation to the station, the wetlands. They do a come out, they come out and visit the site, submit a permit for it. Once that's done, Mr. Sullivan comes and does his thing, throws the well in there and it's off to, off to the races. Uh, well, timeline for that? I'm hoping later in the fall, yeah, right now. Yeah, don't we need engineering blueprints? That time bond comes in for, for, the, for that, for the engineering of the piping going into the station. Yeah. For DEP uh, to get the permit? Dankris will do the pipe, probably the piping end of things into the station. <laughs> I'll do the excavating work on the side to remove the, the area to, so the pipe can go in there. And I'm gonna ask the DEP about the use of the, if we can keep the shaft driven well that's there now in as a reserve or a backup if there's a problem i don't know use. i don't know you have to allow me to do that that's kind of a we never had this before with it we had a replacement well put in so the existing well that you're using right now but you're putting a replacement well in we replacement well in come and tie in this side and put a valve on that side to, to isolate that right. shaft driven to see if we can if that well if something happens to this well we can at least use the shaft as a backup source yeah. that was my so i'm going to Ask Susan Connor about that, or Jay and Jay Billings about that uh, down the line. Uh, so we're we're okay. pretty much uh, yeah. we're pretty much on our way with things but right now. Keep it hitched up the old, the old one. I mean, you're gonna have to run it every once in a while. And well, that's what I was gonna say. Typically, that they may have to require a, a new source for raw water sampling along with that well. There's gonna you get treated water, raw water. Right. So I may have to do a double treated a double raw as as a <coughs> testing for it to make sure it stays conformity with the bacteria sampling. But if you put in a new well, technically a new well, yeah, it's do you need to? I mean, well, do you need do you need to have the backup? Well, the backup is there for our benefit. If something happens to that well, and, I, and, and right now if that well goes down, I'm going to be in big trouble. Will they allow me to keep that well active as a, as a backup only if something happens to the, the well we have right now? You always try to have as much possible contingency. On that, on that yeah. subject, did we talk about just one, like say 10 inch, or were we talking like two of them? One on this one. On this one, just yeah. one. Yeah, one heavy duty uh, right. submersible pump on this one. The other one's going to have a branch off uh, yeah. station yeah. thing. But like I said, that's way down the line. So that's just one. Yeah, one submersible. I just want to get this station up and running back to because I'm hearing thumping going on already again. Some knocking in the the shaft is starting to bend again, and you know, not to say I'll do it right now, but I mean, it takes a little while. But you don't want to get into that predicament. You want to make sure no. we start getting no. this thing done. No, because you said you're running 1,000 yeah. gallons a day now. Well, I hit one high peak at 800, and that was just an unusual. We we're averaging around six something, 650. Uh, the average for right now would be about 550, somewhere in there. 
So I want to, you know, like I said, Nichols is coming back in. These kids are getting more active. The season's been very hot, extremely hot and muggy. People are using a lot of water. Uh, but we're holding our own. I don't have to declare any type of moratorium or any type of water usage restriction right now. I just want to squeak through this summer and then concentrate on the next project for the, for, for the new well source. So that's, that's the reporter for that. Good job, George. Yeah, we're moving in the right direction. Stay on top of it. Motion to adjourn. Or any other discussion? So two weeks to 21st of the meeting. I and out those three items. Oh, before, uh, we, did we already adjourn? No. Just no. a motion. Didn't ask for a vote. Well, welcome aboard, oh. Jen. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. They do a wonderful job. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Do you like it? All those in favor? Aye. Yes. Aye. Aye. She likes the boss the best. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs>